So I'm finally making a video on the top three online banks today in today's market and it only took around 44 videos to get to this point because so far I've done over 44 online bank reviews and out of those 44 I'm doing a video on the top three and out of those 44 I've only recommended around five of them the rest were mm, kind of sucks not really into it and on top of that guys I wanted to include online banks on this list that also range from check-ins savings investing and i even have a bonus one at the end of the video so make sure you stick around for that but i also want to clarify one last thing guys i have no incentive to recommend one product over the other i'm not like one of these youtubers that say like hey this is the best product ever bro i have a link you get a free stock i get a free stock isn't that great no i'm not doing that at all i have no referral links down below what i'm telling you here is my top of the list 100% no incentive no bias It's a top product and is what I actually recommend after 44 videos I only recommend around five so this is the top of the list on top of that guys if you guys don't know me My name is Ty Bryson. I'm an accountant and I upload videos on YouTube every single day So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and make sure you hit like on this video If you're excited about finding out which one is the top one out of all the online banks I reviewed so far and I want to ask you one question do you have an online bank or a traditional big bank or do you have both? Now comment down below and let me know and also tell me which one you have currently and which big bank you also have currently and if you're using both of them, why are you using both of them? Comment down below, really interested to actually find out why do you actually do what you do. So now to comment it, I want to clarify one thing. Tell me what are online banks and why do people actually like them more than traditional banks today and the answer is this. Online banks are online banks that are just online with websites and apps and people really like them because they're very simple to use and there's no physical branch and stuff like that. And on top of that, Tommy, why do people rather use online banks now rather than traditional big banks like my dad did around like 10 to 20 years ago? Well, the answer is this. Well, online banks have only really been around for like the past 10 years, like I said before. And on top of that, they have no physical branches, meaning they have no expensive real estate to cover, so they have no fees. On top of that, they have better perks like cash back, getting paid early, savings accounts, and no fees whatsoever. And guys, if you ask me, in the future, online banks will start offering credit cards. And I've seen signs of this so far because Vero just started offering loans. So in the future, I do see online banks really starting to offer credit cards and becoming the new normal of what traditional banks actually used to be. So comment down below and let me know, do you understand why online banks are better than traditional banks? Well, basically because they have no real estate, no fees and all that stuff, right? Because it's all online. Do you understand why online banks work the way they work and why they have enough money to actually offer all the perks that physical branches, big banks like Chase, JP Morgan, that's the same bank, Wells Fargo and BOA cannot offer? Comment down below, let me know. So now to comment it, Let's jump in straight into the video and actually talk about the top three online banks in today's market in 2019. And here we go, guys. Number one is Vero. By the way, it's not in any specific order, but it's just in specific order according to what you want it for. Okay, if that makes sense. Now, number one is Vero. Vero is more for the average person with a nine to five job that wants a very high yield on the savings accounts and also wants some pretty cool perks, okay? Now, here's how it works, guys. Some of the pros to Vero are basically that it has no fees, no maintenance fees, no foreign transaction fees, no replacement fees for the debit card. It has no fees whatsoever, so it's not like a traditional big bank. On top of that, they actually have direct deposits, but early. So for example, if you get paid on Fridays with Vero, if you set the deposit, you will get paid two days early, so you get paid on Wednesday. So that's pretty cool. It's the same thing as Chime, but Vero also offers some pretty cool perks that Chime doesn't offer. So that's why I picked Vero over Chime, if you're just wondering. Now, here's another thing. They actually work with Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, and Apple Pay, and even Google Pay. So they have all those cool features because usually, guys, when online banks first came out, they were basically prepaid cards and they weren't allowed to actually qualify to work with Cash App, Venmo, and all those cool services. But now, Vero has access to all that stuff, which is very cool. And they also have a very, very good customer service and it's seven days a week, which is very rare and very good if you ask me. Now, the number one highlight feature for Vero is probably the 2.80% on that savings account. Now, you're probably wondering, Tommy, 
what's the catch, okay? Because, you know, that's very high for the market right now. The Fed rate is doing this. The Fed rate is, well, here's my thing. They offer 2.80% and there are some requirements. And here's how it works. Very basic, very easy to do if you ask me. And I'm assuming that if you're going to get Vero, you want to get paid two days early. So you're going to set up the deposit either way. So if you have the deposit set up and you make over $1,000 and you use your debit card more than five times, well, guess what? you qualify for the 2.80% on the savings accounts up to $50,000. Now, I want to be realistic here. The average person doesn't even have $50,000 in savings, which is fine if you ask me. As long as you are saving, that's all that really matters. So just to clarify everything, guys, all you need to do is set up the right deposit with over $1,000, do five transactions, maybe even a dollar fifty cents doesn't really matter, like pay your gas, your internet with the Vero debit card. No big deal there, okay? Once you have that set up, you get 2.80%. And if you have over $50,000, you'll get paid 2.10%, which is pretty good, but not that good compared to everyone else that's going on right now. But here's my thing. If you have a lot of money, over $50,000, by the way, congrats if you have that much money. Well, just put like $40,000 in there and just change the money, the rest of the money into another high yield savings accounts. And then that way you get both of best worlds. That way you still qualify for the 2.80% here and you also get a higher rate somewhere else. That's how I would do it if I had a regular job and I had direct deposit. So Vero is definitely number one for a person with a regular job, direct deposit, wants to get paid early, and also wants one of the highest yield savings accounts on the market up to $50,000. And that's why I actually picked Vero. Now, if you want a full video on Vero, reviewing the entire app and calling customer service, I have a link in the description down below. So you can check that out. Also, again, no referral links here. I have no bias to offer this product. Now, the number two best online bank out there in the market today, I bet you can't guess, by the way. Pause the video right now, comment down below, and I bet you can't guess which one I'm gonna pick. You have three seconds. One, two, three, too late. You didn't comment, too bad. Now, the number two one is actually SoFi money. Now you might say, Tommy, SoFi only offers 2.25% and it's not the same as 2.80% on Vero side. Well, I have to say this, right? SoFi is actually not a savings account. It's actually a money account. So in reality, that 2.25% is basically on a check-in, so it's just very good. On top of that, guys, I want to go over some of the core features of SoFi and why I actually like it. Now for me, SoFi is pretty good because, well, it has unlimited ATM reimbursements worldwide. So for example, if I am in the Caribbean, if I am in Russia, wherever I am in the world, I get free ATM reimbursements no matter what, unlimited, which is very cool for me. On top of that, they offer 2.25% on the check-ins accounts, which is pretty high if you ask me. And here's some of the best features about SoFi that you probably didn't even know and you probably missed it when I made my entire video on SoFi and reviewing them and actually calling customer service, which the link is in the description down below if you want to watch that full video. But here are the features, guys. One, no fees. Two, free ATMs worldwide, which is very cool. And they also have a great customer service base and they also give you free financial advice. So for example, you can literally make an appointment and talk to a financial advisor on the phone wherever you want, which no one out there actually offers. Number six, or number five, is actually they have great articles on education, which again, is pretty rare. They also have a budgeting feature in the app, which again, is very rare. And they also offer discounts on loans, joint accounts, and they even help you find a job and help you transition from one job to the next, which is very, like, no one actually offers things like this, honestly, if you ask me. And guess what? You know how Wealthfront offers $1 million in FDIC insurance? Well, they offer $1.5 in FDIC insurance. Again, it's kind of like a marketing scheme because in reality, who the heck, what type of average person just has like $1.5 million just sitting there? Okay, hey, oh my gosh, $1.5, I'm going to put all my money. No, no, no. The average person doesn't have that much money, but it's great to know that if you keep building your finances up, you have coverage up to $1.5 million, which is a lot of money if you ask me. So if you ask me, Tommy, what do you really like about SoFi? Well, I like the ability of building my financial foundation in SoFi because I get discounts on loans, I get financial advising, and I get great educational products. I also get a 2.25 check-ins account, and I also get free worldwide ATM. So if you ask me, SoFi is basically number two because it falls short compared to the 2.80%, but it offers a lot of other features which are very, very cool. And again, I have this entire list in the description down below, so you can actually check that out. And you only need $1 to actually get started in SoFi, which is pretty good. And just so you guys know, they also have a very great referral program where when you have someone sign up and you actually join, you actually get $25 for actually joining when you use somebody's referral link. Now, again, guys, I don't have a referral link down below, okay? I don't have that, I'm not biased, 
but I do have a Discord, and everyone that Discords is always sharing their referral links. Link in the description down below. You can actually join us, and then you get the referral link through there, and you can actually get that twenty-five dollars when you deposit one hundred dollars, which is still a twenty-five percent gain on your money, which is. Very good if you ask me for open up a check-ins accounts, which is basically free with no fees whatsoever. Now, number three is actually Acorn Spend. Now you might tell me, Tommy, you know Acorn Spend isn't really a savings, it's just for investing. Well, that's why I actually included it here because remember what I said, check-in, savings, and investing, right? That's why I included Acorn here because with Acorn, you get a debit card that has nationwide free ATM, so you can use an ATM anywhere in America. You get no fees and you also are able to start investing into your retirement tax-free and you also get an account to actually start investing into ETFs and start building your financial foundation just like that. On top of that, if you don't really know how to invest money and you just want to get started and you don't have a ton of money, you can actually start buying partial shares, meaning you can actually start investing with less than five dollars so if you want to start investing and you just want to do it automatically with Ron by the way guys you can actually get paid cash back on the acorn spend like debit card because for example if I go to Nike and I buy some sneakers they actually get me 10% to 5% back on that purchase because they have an entire partnership with acorn which is pretty cool if you ask me on top of that here's my last thing guys for acorn is more of an account to invest money, retirement accounts, and just start investing very simply and just very beginner, okay? So if you have like $5, just start investing with that and you keep building it up. By the way, $5 every day invested turns out to be around, what's five times 336? Alexa, what's five times 365? Five times 365 is 1,825. So that's $1,825 invested just by investing $5 a day, which is pretty inexpensive if you ask me. So then that way you can use Acorn to start building some investments. So comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. Is it SoFi? Is it Vero? Is it Acorns? Comment down below and let me know why and guys here's the bonus one if you commented let me know in the comments down below again which one you actually picked and why and here's my thing Tommy what's the bonus one and here's the answer it's not actually a debit card or an investment account is actually just a savings account and it's actually wall front if you want to start saving money for example if you decide to get SoFi because you don't have a direct deposit and you don't want to meet the requirements to actually get the 2.80 percent from Vero well you can actually get SoFi plus wall front and actually get 2.57% on a savings account. And then that way you start accumulating more and more money in your savings. If you don't want to get acorn spend and you just want to start investing money and you still want to do it like savings, you can actually get the acorn and then the savings with wall front and start building wealth like that also through investing and savings. But if you can get Vero, just get Vero and do it up to $50,000 and get 2.80% on your money because why wouldn't you? It's a lot more than 2.57% when you actually do the math, right? Well, there's no math involved. It's just higher, okay? And if you made it this far into the video, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. And comment down below and let me know you made it this far. And I want to leave you with my final thoughts right now. Here it is. I actually want to make a prediction, guys. Here's what I think. Online banks right now are very competitive. Why? Because they're new. It's kind of like when iTunes, Apple Music, and then Spotify came out. They keep competing for like rappers and stuff like that. Well, here's my thing. I think online banks are very competitive now, but eventually they start evening out. It'll just be like, you know, like more basic and more standard. And in the future, I think that big banks are going to start buying out online banks so you can start getting some market share in that market. But for right now, Online banks are basically, well, not basically, well, they are. They are better options than traditional banks because they have no fees, better rates, better perks, higher interest. And overall, right now, they're in the customer acquisition. So right now, they want to offer you everything. So you can actually get in now, take advantage of everything. And then if they switch up anything in the future, just get out. And then you just go somewhere else that has a better rate. And guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. It really helps out the channel a ton. You won't believe how much liking the video actually makes a difference in the algorithm and also helping the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video, which is literally every single day. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, una uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. I respond all my DMs. And if you want any referral codes, just join us on Discord. Link in the description down below. But I have to warn you, only 100 spots are open. Once those 100 spots are filled, we're not going to be accepting people again until 2020. So get it while you still can. Be a part of it while you still can before it's too late. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace.